Coming in hot from Arizona, this is Trevor and Troy Howard, and you're on So Tell Us Time. You can have everything you want in your business. Sometimes you just need a little help. Every business owner would love to charge more for their services, but sometimes you can sacrifice long-term loyalty for a short-term profit. Creating the right rituals is key to your business having success. Are you tired of competing with your competitors? Guess what? You don't have to compete if you create. Hey everybody, welcome. It's another episode of So Tell Us Time and we are excited to be with you today. It is November. Crazy. Halloween's over. It's like I talked yeah. about in the last episode. Halloween's over. November comes. Thanksgiving <laughs> hits. And then it's like my birthday, which is awesome. And yep. then it's Christmas. And then it's New Year. And then holy crap, we're in... 2023 yeah oh my goodness goodness gracious but i can tell you what troy we have been following here at so tell us we have been following this so tell us time podcast you know homework that we give out every <laughs> week we've been doing it ourselves my friends and let me tell you we are having one of the best years ever we are yep. we're having a big year we're making big moves Big things happening. I hope you are too. If you've been doing the homework, then you are. Trust me, I know because I'm implementing it and it's working. So today we're going to jump in. We're going to talk about fear. Fear, because as entrepreneurs, we're very fearful. We're timid. <laughs> we like crawl under a rock or stick our head in the sand. We, we don't want to get outside of the bubble, right? No. <laughs> no. 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 In general, as entrepreneurs, our personalities are like outgoing and we're, we're risk takers, right? Yep. In general. That being said, we do see a lot of business owners that even though they have that mindset and that outgoing personality, they can get paralyzed. They get paralyzed in making decisions that could greatly improve their companies, but they get paralyzed because they don't quite maybe understand it, you know, and we're going to go over some reasons of why people get paralyzed here in just a second. And then we're going to go over some really good things to do to get past that, par uh, you know, being paralyzed. Yep. Um, but the thing is, even as a business owner with the personalities that we have, we can still be paralyzed in certain areas because we don't quite understand it or for a few of these other reasons. So we're going to jump in and go right over those. Let's do it. Let's get this fixed. No more being <laughs> paralyzed. Let's build our businesses and make some money. All right. So some of the reasons for being paralyzed. Number one is, uh, like Trevor said, a lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about like you're making business decisions. You're making these decisions of which way your business is going to go. Yep. And sometimes you're just, you have a lack of understanding of like, man, what is the right thing to do? So often with our curious minds and controlling mindsets, we want to understand how something works, why yeah. it works that way before we make a decision to move forward. That's right. And we want to, you know, we basically want to learn everything that we can and maybe kind of do it ourselves. Totally. Um, so we can feel more confident in the strategy. Yeah. But unfortunately, that can slow our business down. Absolutely. Right? That can put us in this state of paralysis. I mean, it, it does make sense to a degree. It's like, well, how can I hire someone to do this if I don't understand how it's done? Well, I can see where you're coming from, but I can also tell you that's going to hinder your growth. Right. Okay, so we'll talk about getting over that in a little bit. All right, another one is lack of time. We find ourselves wearing all the hats in our business, mm -hmm. trying to mm -hmm. be everything to everyone yeah. and every part of our company. Yeah. And because we're wearing so many hats and we don't have time, it kind of creates this, you know, this sense of paralysis in the business. Yeah, absolutely. Right? We're working in so many different areas that we never really move forward. Correct. In any one area specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and another one is just straight up completing tasks. You know, working yeah. in the business can be easier than absolutely. working on the business. Yeah, yeah. Getting in there and getting these little tasks done feels great. Yeah, I love tasks. It's <laughs> yeah. so funny. I, I love Check checking off. off tasks. I love doing that. I was talking to someone the other day and we were creating this task list and they they like I had two tasks because they put it in one task. And I was like, no, no, no. You need to just like split those out into two yeah. tasks 
And they're like, why? I'm like, so that I can check both of them off. Yeah, like I'm a go-getter. I'm super motivated. I am going to complete a task. You give me a task. I am going to work on it 24-7 until yep. that task is completed. What I find to be the hardest thing for me often is if there's not really an explanation of what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. If there's not like a goal of like, well, you're, I mean, the goal is maybe very broad and there's not like this checklist to get to that goal. That's really hard for me because then I kind of step back and I'm sitting there left, you know, holding a bag wondering like, what do I do? How do I, how do I accomplish this? Right. Exactly. But so, so it's like, we can get so like into, Oh, I did this and I did this and I did this and just checking off that list a lot of those things are working in the business, not on the business where we know on the business is where we're going to grow. Exactly. All right. So let's talk about the steps to take. First and foremost, you know, realizing that there are times we need to learn uh, how to do things ourselves because mm -hmm. of basically a lot of times it comes down to lack of funds and resources. Right. Right. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I would love to do this marketing. I'd love to hire somebody to do this marketing, but I don't know. I can't afford that. Correct. Right. So I'm going to figure out a way to do this marketing myself. Yeah. You know, so there are those situations where, you know, we have to trade instead of trading money for the value of what we need, we trade time for the value Correct. of what we need. Correct. And, and that's okay, you know, in the right situations. You know, we understand this and that's fine, you know, that it's sometimes hard to see between what you need to do yourself and when it's actually time to hire somebody yeah, it's a to do it. Fine line, very fine line. Yeah. And people get lost in that. Because they get so comfortable in the fact that they're doing it. Yeah. Even if they're not doing it, they feel they're doing it well, <laughs> right? Like, I feel like I do a lot of things really well. But then when I actually take that step and bring in that person who is specialized in that, I'm like, I realize how much of a bottleneck I became within the company. Yep, exactly. So, and, you know, Trevor put it in the notes here, you know, w know when to get out of your own way. Yeah. Get out of your own way, fools. Yeah, that's really important. <laughs> Next one is, you know, having time to accomplish everything we need to um, for that day, that week, that month, mm -hmm. even that quarter. Sometimes it just feels like it's too much and we can't get it done. And time tends to slip away. Oh, so fast. Very fast. Um, you know, how many times have you said, man, there's just not enough time in a day? Yeah, that's a saying for a reason. Yeah, we say it all the time, especially <laughs> as entrepreneurs, because we're like, man, there just isn't enough time. Right. I can I got enough time for three of my hats, but I got six hats I gotta wear today. Correct. You know? So we completely feel you guys on this one. Absolutely. It happens in our business all the time. Yep. Um, something we found is that scheduling out your day, uh, in like down to the hour, including when you're gonna take lunch, when yeah. you're gonna have breaks, things like that, can be really helpful to make sure that you get the most important things done every single day. Absolutely, because think about the guy who's running it out of his house wearing all the hats, right? We're talking to you right now, and I know you get distracted with things that need to be done at home. I know that other things creep in. The dog <laughs> needs to be fed. The dog needs to be walked. The dog needs to be taken to the groomer. The kids need to be picked up. You just need to run to the store real fast. Da -da -da. You know, the to-do list can grow. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're you're now not separating that home life and that work life, and that's and, and that's not even what I'm originally talking about with this. Yeah. It, but that's just additional things for like so that could be a struggle of our you know all hat wearing entrepreneurs that are solopreneurs right now, um, scheduling your day all the way down to what sounds silly breaks and lunches <laughs> is a really good thing. Now, this is even for us, right? Multi-million dollar business, all these employees, lots of clients, Troy and I schedule it down and we're teaching our employees to do the same thing. Yeah. Fill your calendar with the time that you're gonna work and dedicate to a single project or whatever that is, those tasks, and then accomplish that in that and, and move on to the next thing. I mean, it really makes you more efficient because there's always gonna be more work for tomorrow. Yes. Right? And it helps you prioritize what is most important, right? Yeah. And I, one of the things, like, if you look at my calendar, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. there is boom, 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 yeah. boom, everything down there. All my tasks are in my calendar. Yeah. And it's, but it's great though, because when you would think, you know, you might think that, oh, well, it's easier for you guys. You have all these employees to do work for you. Right. But I can't tell you how many times during the day, 
employees are coming into my office going, hey, Troy, what about this? And hey, Troy, da, 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 da. And hey, Troy, and hey, Troy, and hey, Troy. Mm -hmm. And the great thing is I have a calendar and they go, hey, Troy, can we can we go over to this? Can we talk about this? I'm like, ah, you know what? I can't. Yep. I'm booked right now in my calendar, but let's see. Oh, here's a time right here. Let's get together and let's talk at that time. Totally. So I'm able to prioritize what's important and it's easy for me to do it because I'm like, I, I'm already booked. Yeah. Sorry. And it may be the next day. It may be that you're calendaring for the next day. Hey, look, tomorrow at 10 a.m., I got from 10 to 10.30. Let's let's knock this out. Exactly. Let's address this then. All right. Perfect. So next one is, ooh, onto the trap of working in the business. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slippery slope, let me tell you. <laughs> She working in the business is a sexy mistress. <laughs> she is tantalizing. Let me say that because yeah. it really just again, like we said kind of earlier, it allows you to just feel accomplished at the end of the day. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You go, oh, man, I got so much done today <laughs> in my business. Mm -hmm. But what you don't realize is all of the important things that you didn't get done. Yeah that would help grow your business. That's right. Right? And I mean, I've caught myself doing this. I've caught myself taking care of little tasks that my employees should be taking care of. Totally. And I'll even, sometimes I'll even grab it before they have a chance to get to I it. I know. And I'm like, oh, let me just take care of this real quick. <laughs> and it's like, because it feels good. Boom, I totally. got that done. That customer's happy. This is awesome. And I mean, we're even guilty of writing emails for our employees. Yes. <laughs> to respond to clients or to, you know, whatever it is. And it's like, why are we doing this? They, yep. Our guys are awesome. You know, our team is amazing. But yet we, it's great to just jump in there. And, you know, and the problem is that we even got into, and Troy was definitely guilty of this. I stepped away from it a long time ago, but we have our, our uh, ticket tracker. Oh, yeah. And Troy was, and what it does is, of course, it's supposed to motivate you, right? So you have your leader, <laughs> your like team leader of who is closing the most tickets and stuff. And Troy was like, kicking everybody's butts yes he was closing all the tickets man he was taking care of all the stuff closing these tickets and at the end of the day it was like hey, well guys i guess i did more than you today you know it was like <laughs> but but realistically we should be allowing them to do that and we troy and i are working on the business right i mean i've always said like one hour of working on the business is worth way more than 10 hours working in the business as the owner yeah, absolutely. No, it's really true. And and again, and a lot of times it's because the reason why we do this is because working on the business yeah. is a long-term strategy. It is. Right? We're not going to like do something really quick on the business that completely changes our business totally. forever. So we don't get to see, the, we don't get that instant satisfaction, yeah. that gratification. The of fruits like, of our I labors are down the road. Yeah. We're so, planting, when you're working on the business, you're literally just planting the tree. Yeah. And it's going to grow and everything. But like when you're in the orchard and picking the apples, it's so satisfying. You're like, oh, now I'm going to make an apple pie tonight. You right. know? So anyways, lots of fun analogies. Yep. So there you go. So the key is as a business owner, you got to work on the business, mm -hmm. not in the business. So schedule that out. Yep. Put exactly. That in, put it, that in your calendar for putting in times. In fact, Troy and I are even implementing a new thing where we're going to be taking once a quarter, we're going to be taking like three days yep. that we get away from the office, lock ourselves away, like phones off, no family distraction, no work distraction. And we are going to just pound out these things that we need to address for working on the business in those three days. And I can tell you, we've done this several times in the past. And in that three days, we can get a year's worth of work done. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, absolutely. But, and I'm talking, but I'm talking no cell phones, no nothing. Like, don't bug us. Right. Yep. Order food in, you know? <laughs> so, all right. Anything else, Trevor, before nope, we hit the homework? That's perfect. Let's, let's hit the homework. So look at your business and see what you can improve or where you can improve on at least one of these items to help your business grow. Cause it's, Really, that's what this whole thing's about, right? We want to grow the business. We don't want to just maintain the business. We don't want to just be barely making it. We want to be building something that grows into a, you know, as we're pushing, eventually we're pushing this ball or this big boulder up the up the mountain, right? Yeah. Eventually we got to get to the top. And when we do it teeters and it just takes a little bit of doing the right things, 
to have it just start rolling down the other side. And that's where all the gravy comes. I mean, right. it's just exciting. So, all right, guys, implement something from this podcast this week. Okay, before next week's podcast. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll catch you guys on the next episode of So Tell Us Time.